I haven't done a Linux gaming performance benchmark on a single distro on a single card in a pretty long time. So we're doing one today. In this video, we're gonna be testing out the latest long-lived NVIDIA driver on OpenSUSE Elite 15 and my GTX 760. So at the time of this video, OpenSUSE Elite 15 has kernel version 4.12 and I'm running KDE with the KWIN compositor completely disabled. So we don't have to worry about it getting in the way of any gaming benchmarks. Now this benchmark is going to be a little bit different for two reasons. For starters, in previous benchmark videos that I've done, I usually do the synthetic style benchmark. You know, games or applications with the whole benchmark thing built in and then it gives you like a summary or a graph at the end. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to talk and give some anecdotes over gameplay footage because people seem to like that better than watching the simple benchmarks. And the second thing is that I wanted to try out games that I don't normally see in benchmarking videos starting with a game like Ballistic Overkill here. Now Ballistic Overkill is an interesting game because it seems like every time I play it, I run into an aimbot hacker. And wouldn't you know it, as I'm capturing this footage, there is a guy camping my spawn with a sniper rifle killing people through walls. That kind of sums up my experience with Ballistic Overkill. But I did manage to get into a match where there didn't seem to be any hackers. And for the graphics here, I used the high preset. I've got anti-aliasing on, pretty solid frame rates. Now, if they could just figure out the cheating and hacking situation, this game would be excellent. But unfortunately, hacking and cheating is rampant, so it just sucks. But hey, the performance is good. Next up, we've got Empire Total War. Now I have to say I'm surprised at just how poor this game ran. Now granted, I have the graphics presets on as high as they go, which is the preset called Ultra, but generally the frame rate hovered at around 20 frames a second. When I had the camera down low and there was a lot of action, it got into the teens. Now in my opinion, this is not a playable frame rate for a game like this, but I do have the graphics on full blast. You can turn them down to medium and honestly, you don't really see a very big difference. I think the ultra preset is cool if you're trying to like film a video or something, but the medium preset is just fine if that's all you're playing. But despite the performance, the game looks really, really good, especially considering it's actually pretty old at this point. Next on the list is the amazing Mad Max port by Feral. Now I've done research on the game for this video and I cannot find a clear definitive answer as to whether or not this is running Vulcan. There's a lot of information out there that says that you can opt into a Vulcan beta, but those articles are from 2006 and 2017. I'm guessing that this is Vulcan because I have the presets on high. Look at the frame rates. We're like looking at 50, 60 frames a second. And I mean, look at the graphics, they're incredible. Of all of the games I have for Linux, Mad Max runs the best pound for pound performance and quality, the absolute best bar nut. The game doesn't really stutter or slow down. If you go into really crowded areas like Gut Gash's Stronghold, it can drop into the 30s. But even still, when you're out cruising around in your car or fighting people in battles, the performance is a solid 50 to 60 frames a second. This is an incredible port. Really, really solid performance all the way around. Last up, we've got Skyrim. Now, obviously Skyrim is not a native Linux game. I'm running this through Wine, but more specifically, I'm running it through Crossover. I've had a lot of issues with Wine through Play on Linux and Lutris didn't work at all. Crossover actually worked right out of the box, which is pretty darn amazing. I'm playing on a custom medium preset. It seems that anti-aliasing causes the frame rate to tank, so everything is on high, but anti-aliasing. The frame rate stays around 50 to 60 frames a second, which is pretty amazing considering this is running through wine. In fact, I would say that if you wanted to do a playthrough with Skyrim on Linux, you absolutely could with performance like this. I remember in the past when I tried to play Skyrim with wine, it would stutter pretty bad, and I didn't really see any stuttering at all. Now I'm being really obnoxious in these clips to maximize the mayhem and tax my hardware as much as possible, but it's handling everything I'm throwing at it, which is awesome. So that wraps up the games I wanted to show you with this benchmark. Now I want to point out that I'm using the long-lived NVIDIA driver, which is currently 390.77 for two reasons. For starters, it's pretty much plug and play on OpenSUSE when you use the repo manager and just add the NVIDIA repo, it installs it for you automatically. Second, I find that especially on Linux, the short-lived branch that Manjaro and other distros use have a lot of regressions which can cause performance hits. 
If you watch my elementary versus Manjaro, you'll see that having a later driver does not always equal better performance. In fact, in some cases, it equals worse performance. So that's going to wrap this video up. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I also want to point out that I have a new, actually it's an old channel that I'm kind of reviving, dedicated to playing games on Linux and live streaming. I was streaming on Twitch for a, a brief period of time, but I've moved my streaming back to YouTube on this channel. If you guys are interested in Linux gaming specific stuff, excluding benchmarks, benchmarks are going to stay here on the EG channel. All gameplay and stuff will happen over on the EG Plays channel. But if you're interested in that stuff, you should subscribe and tune in for some of the live streams. They're pretty fun. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.